So in my first video about pivot tables, I walked through the basic steps of why it's necessary, how it can help you, and how to create one. So now, just a very quick p video here. Let's say this was the original data, and this is the data that we use to create this pivot here, and we can we know that this is the data that this pivot is using by clicking anywhere within the pivot, going up here to the special toolbar, clicking on change data source, we'll just take a look. When I press change data source again, notice how Excel highlights the range that the pivot is currently looking at. So I'm going to click cancel, and now I've added more rows of data and I've also added another field here that's, here that's a formula. So it's okay to have uh, in our pivot data that comes from a formula. These are just raw values, numbers, text over here, going all the way down. But column sales is a formula saying multiply the sales price by the units sold. So now we want to expand this pivot to include two different things, more rows of data going down, and one more column. So our, our raw data is longer going down and it's wider. So all we have to do, so here A, is expand the pivot range. We're going to click back up in here. Uh, we're going to say change data source. Click that again. And in this little drop down where the mouse is here, click that. I'm going to select this and I'm going to press control shift down down arrow you could just highlight with the mouse but uh, this way goes to the bottom of the data set now Excel is showing you the pivot is now going to include all of this data it goes down further and it goes a little bit wider so I click on here and I press the OK button and I have to do one more thing sometimes you have to refresh the pivot so look up in here now now we also see sales so an extra field. I'm going to click on sales, drag it into the values area, and you notice how it comes over here. So now what it's done, per product, which is the product is here, there's three different products. Notice how in the original data there were only two of them, but I put a new product name down here, T4. So now that it's refreshed, we see T4, uh, we see the sum of sales. So it, for every unique product in this column, it puts it in here and it sums up the sales. So it sums up all of these numbers here per product. So basically what I've shown you here is how to expand your pivot uh, table range and then how to add a field.